friends! Welcome to the latest episode of... Op episode... <laughs> episode -y. Welcome to the latest episode of Autopsy! This week, they went in search of a demon. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Different. I shouldn't be hallelujahing for a demon. Either way. So for this episode, I thought I would interview my brother because he told me a story not too long ago, actually, um, about a demon. And it was his own experience, and I thought, oh my goodness, this would be such a good story to share. Oh. Anyways, so I thought we'd give him a little Skype interview, a bit of Skype session, and um, see what he says. Hi! Hey! Hey, brother! <laughs> Your name is Jesse. Jesse. Jesse Horsley, this is my brother. Yep. We're opposite, okay? We are very different. I mean, I always say to her, if we weren't brother and sister, I wouldn't be friends with you. It's true. Like, I probably wouldn't be friends with you either. Yeah, I really wouldn't like you. We wouldn't get along. No. You know? <laughs> I want to I wanna hear your story. Okay, cool. Um, so basically, I was at a friend's house um, and we were all about to leave. And I was like, hey, look, I need to go to the bathroom. I'll meet you in the car. They're like, cool, we'll meet you in the car. Came out of the bathroom, all the lights in the house were off. So my first thought was either the trip switch, so all the power's turned off, um, or they were playing a joke. I'm scared already. <laughs> yeah, it, ooh, ooh, hold on, it gets more intense. <laughs> turned the lights back on, I went to go into the kitchen, and all the lights went off again. I turned on the light again in the kitchen, and as I've done that, the light has switched off again. Then I've gone, okay, all right, all right, I just need to, just need to do this. So I've gone through the kitchen again, um, turned on the light, went to walk out through their lounge room and then through the front door. Now, as I've walked, they have like this sliding door on their kitchen where you can like break up the walls and, you know, if you want to be away, right, right, whatever, you get it. Um, and as I've gone to walk through, the door has slammed shut. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was really intense and the fastest I've ever seen a door move in my life. Oh, right. Um, yeah, so, so I've obviously jumped there back. Was a, like, it wasn't just like creaking across, it was actually like no, a slam. No, it was a slam. It wasn't like, you know, so I've ran back towards the bathroom again. I've gone, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's okay. You know? I would be freaking out. Like, I would be out of that house. And then as I've started to walk towards the lounge room, the light has dimmed down. So it started dimming. And that's when I was like, no, I'm done. I'm done. Get me out, get me out. I started running and I got to the lounge room and I turned. I turned my head to the side and I just stopped. I froze. Because when I looked towards the corner of the room, there was this huge black figure eight feet tall, probably about as wide as two, three people together. And it wasn't standing on anything, it was floating. And it was kind of swaying. I felt disgusting. I felt sick. I felt cold. Um, and, and I froze. Are you sure this wasn't a Dementor? Just I mean, look, you know, JK Rowling got you good. <laughs> and I just ran. I ran out of there. I slammed the door to their house. I was like, get me out of here. Like, what's going on? Like, no, no, no. I saw that. I saw that with my eyes. Like, I'm not lying. So basically, uh, when I was speaking to my friends in the car about what happened, um, it ended up coming out that they played with a Ouija board a couple of days ago in the house. Oh! <laughs> my first thought was like logic and, and what's going on in science and this isn't real. You know, I would pick you as a shaniac because you're all the time, mm. you're like, oh, Holly, don't be scared. It's just the floor creaking. Yeah. The girl that lived there was saying how like recently she's been hearing people walk down the stairs and like trying to open a door while she's sleeping and cups moving ever since she played with the Ouija board. I've got chills. Like, Ooh. I've got chills. <laughs> it's just not fun, you know? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks so much for sharing. Love okay, you. Okay, love you, bye. Bye. I need a breather. That story gets me every time. Maybe it's just talking to my brother. I think I come from a very religious view of it. A bit like that father. You know that father man that told him not to, you know, go looking for spirits and demons and don't interact with them. I think I'm with him. Have you guys ever had any sort of experiences? Leave some comments below. I would love to hear them and maybe we will feature them in another episode. I'll read them out and we can all be terrified together as Bugaras or we can be critical as Shaniacs. Whatever floats your boat. 
Actually, I'd love to hear what you Shaniacs think about Jesse's story. I'd love to hear your little theories and myths and, and try and debunk his story. I personally believe that it was a demon or some evil supernatural being, but 